Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is Tyranny Watch News for July 17, 2014, Anno Domini. And I'm going to be using a new format here. No live feed from Second Life. That was a hassle. Kept crashing my machine. And I don't need it. So we'll just use static picture from now on. It's going to be better for everybody. I can do better news coverage. And that's the way it is. Alright. We're going to start like we've been doing with the invasion news. From CNN, Martin O'Malley, governor of Maryland, is saying we don't want illegal aliens in this state, or at least in, not in Western Maryland. Said privately said, don't send these kids to Western Maryland. Democratic source told CNN he had discussion between O'Malley and White House domestic policy advisor Cecilia Munoz occurred during a phone call late Friday evening. Sort of familiar with the conversation added. A potential Democratic presidential candidate in 2016, Malley surprised some of his party when he sharply criticized a White House proposal to give new legal authorities to the Department of Homeland Security to expedite the deportation of violent company minors and their families. Well, uh, they have that. A Democrat is saying, don't want him here, which I can't blame him. Next story. Uh, the homeless in Los Angeles are not happy because Obama wants to put home put uh, illegal aliens in LA and house them there and they're saying what on earth we're out on the street and bringing in these farm foreigners and why are you doing this it's kind of a slap in the face of US citizens said homeless activ activist Ted Hayes it's embarrassing it's hurtful because it's like a father saying he loves his children outside the family more than he loves his own. We feel for them, Hayes continued. We feel their pain, but we're feeling pain of our own children first. And he's got a point. I mean, bringing in these illegal aliens and they're being put up in fifty million dollar hotels and things of that nature and the homeless are still out on the streets. So I'm in general agreement here. From Infowars.com Yeah, we'll do that one later. From uh, Breitbart Texas Pipeline Creates Illegal Immigrant Superhighway. A natural gas pipeline, which is under construction, 
Um, what they're doing is they're basically crawling through it. One worker said he found two young girls last week who were traveling alone. They were apparently become separated from the group and have been left lying to die. He said they looked very scared and were very thirsty. Girls were estimated to be in their 20s. So essentially what they're doing is crawling through it. And coming to the U.S. that way. Eh, it's just lovely. Next story. Okay, well, we're waiting for the increasingly slow internet to load. We're going to take a look at the InfoWars story concerning DHS. Armed Homeland Security agents and community outreach let people know they're in the area. It doesn't say one area, maybe it's all over the place. Uh, Greenville, North Carolina. A heavy presence was not because of any specific threat associated with building. Essentially, they're just saying, we're here, we're bad, and... We're in your face. Okay, it sounds like the uh, radical feminists. We're fierce, we're feminists, and we're in your face. And that's what this is. Uh, about the visible presence of armed federal agents for no other reason than to represent a show of force, only deepen the concerns that. Department of Homeland Security is becoming America's domestic standing army, a notion posted by the Rutherford Institute's John Whitehood, Whitehead in a widely circulated article last month. The menace of the National Police Force, a.k.a. standing army, thus it was so much power that it cannot be overstated, nor can its danger be ignored wrote Whitehead before listing numerous examples of how DHS is instrumental in pushing Americans to decline into militarized police state. Well, Mr. Whitehead, you're right on target. In fact, I think I'll put up a uh, little graphic from InfoWars that kind of relates to this. Hold on one sec. Okay, take a look at this uh, picture I put up. This is what we're talking about. We've been slowly trained by the government, same way that people in Germany were trained by the Nazis. <laughs> it's simple and basic, it's not hard to understand. In the top picture, we have two Nazis. Uh, hassling some Jew, apparently, and the bomb. You have DHS hassling, uh, DHS or some cops or somebody hassling some guy out on the street. Same difference. Anyway, we'll get back to the news. Another uh, governor, this time the governor Fallon of Oklahoma, is complaining because she don't know what's going on uh, with the housing of the illegals. Governor Mary Fallon says she owes it to Oklahoma citizens to know what was happening 
in her state with housing of illegal Im immigrants. I have a right now, and I need to be able to tell the citizens of our state what's going on. Yeah, when she went to military facility at Fort Sill, where over a thousand children, in quotes, are being held on such, she was told to be silent and have a quick tour and be out of here. That's just lovely. This is a governor of a whole state, and she's being treated like trash. She said when she encountered an outside organization that had been contracted by the federal government and uh, set up what they wanted me to see. In other words, <laughs> there's something they don't want our elected representatives to see, and this is my concern. It sounds to me like our government is doing something very, very nefarious, and this has been the thing that I've been worried about. They can't trust the word that comes out of their mouth, and they can't trust anything that comes out of the media. And, interestingly enough, we have another story going on that's been making rounds of smart government trolls control somebody who basically tries to store people off and make their lives miserable online. But, during Edward Snowden was releasing some uh, documents, British spy agency GCHQ is manipulating online discussions Infiltrating computers to specific targets, purposely destroying reputations, altering the results of online polls, and using Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube for propaganda and espionage purposes. If they're doing it, you can... It's a 100% probability that our own uh, government is doing this. If people don't start getting enraged about this now, governments of the Western world are going to see this as a green light do even more it's from the daily sheeple. Eventually it might get so bad we won't be able to trust much of anything that we see on the internet. Like we can do that now. There's a lot on the internet that's really awful. One great thing about it is the fact that we're, there's a lot of average individuals to communicate on mass scale unlike ever before. And the elite don't like that. So, essentially, what they've been doing is living them online and putting out disinformation and giving you a rash of shit when you say the wrong thing. And that's about the size. You know, I've known this for quite some time. It's the way it is, unfortunately. The government doesn't like you saying, you're saying certain things. And they'll give you a hassle if you do say the wrong thing. That's what this is about. Okay, next story is directly related to this. Um, it talks about how Edward Snowden, this is from the Daily Sheeple again, documents released by NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden release reveal how the NSA conducts information war against alternative media. Yeah, I'm not at all surprised by this. You know, I've known that it's getting increasingly more difficult to put out information that goes against what the elites want you to think. Infowars.com and Alex Jones have fallen victim to this disruptive behavior, specifically under civil reward, a psychological operation shortened to PSYOP uh, 
designed to remove content from YouTube accounts the government considers extremist. In other words, carrying information the government doesn't want to disseminate. According to Green, Glenn Greenwald, the NSA and GCHQ disrupt media and engage in dirty tricks against enemies in a number of ways, including change outcome of online polls, underpass, mass delivery of email messaging to, to support an information operations campaign badger, and mass delivery of SMS messages to support information operations campaign warpath. So apparently these are a bunch of different programs that they have. Disruption of video based website hosting extremist content through concerted targeted discovery and content removal. Active Skype capability Skype out and Skype to Skype. Miniature Hero. A tool that will permanently disable the target's account on their computer. Angry Pirate. Holy mackerel. So we have a whole bunch of things here. What is it? Basically, government is attacking your uh, ability to get information out. And, you know, this, like I said, this directly relates to the other story about the trolls. This is why Alex Jones calls this an Infowars, is because we're battling to get information out, and they want to keep, they want to control the information, which is a continuing violation of our rights. It's our right. It's clearly to put information out. It doesn't, whether it's 100% accurate or not, that is not guaranteed in the Constitution. So, on the Daily Sheep, they have a whole bunch of different uh, things listed here as far as what the government is doing government programs for disinfo. Now for our Dillagaff section, do I look like I give a, you know what. Um, uh, in Belgium, Landon, Landon, Belgium, which is east of Brussels, a group of gypsies set up camp outside of town, and the mayor did not like it, and they refused to leave, so the mayor is using music to blast the gypsies away, basically. Belgium Tom uses blast out music to drive out gypsies. Yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, maybe we could do something like that at the border. <laughs> I mean, it's set up. I need to set up a lot of Guns N' Roses music or something. Maybe that made the illegals would hear that and go home. Fat chance, but I'm RFS Mars, thank you for watching TNE Watch News.